Hi there, this is Al from TheGamingGeek.net and today we're going to take a break from um, retro game testing and instead I'm just going to uh, chill for this episode and take a look at a game that uh, was very memorable to me. This is Double Dragon 3, uh, originally released on the Famicom and the NES. I'm playing it on the Miu Mini Plus now. Uh, just a bit of a story, a bit of a background before I get into this. Um, Double Dragon 3 was one of the first games that I had. And I had a Famicom growing up, not an NES. Even though our country was um, speaking English more than Japanese, uh, the Famicom was more available to us. So we had the Japanese versions of uh, NES games. Uh, more readily available um, and uh, saying that the reason why I wanted to say that I had a Japanese version was because I was very curious you know what well, let's just start so we're gonna try and beat this game today there upon perfecting Sosetsuken that's Billy uh, the main hero of the Double Dragon series Billy met Hiroko a fortune teller we're playing the Japanese version, but this is fan translated. Hiroko, he who solves Egypt's riddle will be the world's best hero. You must collect three Rosetta stones. There you go. So it's USA Mission 1. I like this game a lot. We're going to talk about this game uh, as we move forward all right so the first thing that um is important to note um because i was really like um wondering why people considered this to be a difficult game um but that was because the the u.s release of double dragon 3 the sacred stones um was actually made more difficult they added more enemies and they reduced the health of the characters, right? Um, so the Japanese version was uh, easier. So that was uh, one reason why I was able to beat this game easily. But the other reason is because my uh, Famicom had built-in turbo control. So I had turbo B and turbo A, which is uh, I'm replicating right now. So on your Mini Mini Plus, if you want uh, to enable turbo... Um, I'm using Onion OS and uh, Core Nestopia, right? Which has Turbo. All right. Sensei, your dojo by the Neo Black Warriors. Their boss Jim wants control of the city. So, so this is their dojo. Ooh. All right. Now this is, uh, I guess. Uh, oh man. It, it's still difficult, um, even though I've beaten it. Uh, I'm never gonna say this is an easy game. It's just that it's not. I don't consider it to be one of the most difficult NES games. Oops. Man, it's so easy to make a mistake here. So, anyway, um, this is my favorite Double Dragon game for uh, a lot of reasons. The first is, it's a very, very complex. I mean, uh, the con they did do, they did a lot of uh, man so hard. Oh, I don't want to make any further mistakes. Uh, the f I mean, with two buttons, they did a lot in terms of. Uh, the moves that uh, you have available to you. You have that head pull thing. You had your flying kick. You had your spin kick. Uh, which you can only... You, you can do the spin kick using a double tap uh, BA. But it's hard to do consistently when you're in the middle of a battle, right? Which is why... Uh, I think turbo controls are really, really 
uh, key in beating this game. Aside from that, you have your your kicks, your your grabs. The only thing I'm, I do miss throws, right? But this is an 8-bit uh, beat em up. And there are a few other fancy stuff that you can can do. I'll show you a few of uh, this stuff later. There's this nice wall bounce. That you, oh, look at that! You ha you can dash, right? I don't know that you can dash in Double Dragon Two. Oops! I don't want to accidentally. There's this wall. Oh man! All right, let's focus on beating the enemies. All right. Oh no, there's the boss. I'll show you the the man. I'm not timing it correctly, but you can do a bounce flying kick. There you go. That's the, uh, double damage, if I'm not mistaken. All right, this boss is difficult, and we're just gonna focus on the battle. I'm not gonna talk about. Um, side topics. But if you're careless, uh, this boss can beat you easily. They can duck under your um, spin kick there. So what makes this um, game difficult is you don't have lives. And if I'm not mistaken, you don't have continuous either. There you go. So if I died right there, um, I would have to start from the beginning. Jim is the older brother of Willie. The true battle is about to begin. So it's actually sad when um, a man in China has a Rosetta Stone go. When uh, Nintendo came out with the NES Classic and they included this, I mean they included Double Dragon 2 and not Double Dragon 3. Oh. I took some damage. That's um Oh, look at that. You see that? You can actually do that if you're playing a two-player game and um one of you is controlling Jimmy, the other is controlling Billy. Then you can also do that. All right. Oh. I don't know why he didn't throw the knife, but there you go. And as we get farther, uh, hopefully we'll get far enough that uh, I can show off uh, the, um, another reason why I like this game. But uh, I like this a lot over Double Dragon 2, right? That wall grab, uh, that head grab, by the way, not very reliable because the hitbox is a little bit tight. But if there are gaps or pits, that's a, a quick way to dispatch an, an, an enemy. Oops, I'm not in good shape. Alright, very little health. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. All right. All right. Second boss. This is Chin Seimei. There you go. My brother fell to your Sasetsuken. I'll just show you my true power. So I'm not sure if his brother is one of the enemies in the previous games. Because uh, I'm no longer uh, well versed in double dragon lore. Alright, it's a. Uh, see, when you have a turbo controller uh, and you can like just press and hold B and A, it's uh, kind of. Uh, almost broken, right? There. I lost. Take this stone. So now, uh, you'll see. I want to rematch after all this. Take me with you. So now he becomes uh, an ally of us. A stone. The next one is in Japan. So we've been gathering the stones. I'm tempted to change as Chin, but these ninjas are uh, tricky. They're fast and Chin's uh, slow. So we're gonna use the chin uh, in the next stage. All right. Ooh. But but you know what? I like this game a lot. Um, but uh, when I played it recently, I can see why. People consider Double Dragon 2 as the better game. Oops. First of all, I'm not sure if you're noticing, but we're already in the third stage. And... Oops. It's only been 12 minutes. So this game is diff uh, challenging, but short. If I can remember correctly, Double Dragon 2 can uh, take a long time to really beat. Alright. Oops. Okay, so oops, let's uh, change into Chin. There you go. So now, it, uh, it's, it's kind of like an extra life, but... If um, one of your characters gets killed, you lose them forever. So it's best to play this like you would play the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games. When someone is low health, you you know you you sub them out. All right, and the reason why I chose Chin here is because well, I'm uh, saving uh, Billy's health. Oh, Chin is slow. Slower, she's the slowest of the three characters that you you can have, you can control. Man, he's really uh, outmatched here. But he's uh, he does more damage. So if you can catch uh, an opponent in this like claw move, you can immediately kill kill that. The problem is, you know, you have to catch them. Oops. There you go. And that dive is also done with... There, see? Ninja just, you know... He can just kill enemies like that. Alright. So I like... Uh, that's just another thing that I like about Double Dragon. Three is that you have uh, more than more characters to choose from, right? So it, it does vary the gameplay. Oh man, now that I'm playing it and um, with Turbo, look at how easy it, uh, ma it makes the game. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, to beat this uh, today because the final stage is super freaking difficult. So, 
So I'm just hoping to get to the last uh, boss, right? And then, and well, like I told you, they're so continuous. I can easily, you know, get killed. Oops. Oof. It's dangerous to leave the ninjas uh, alone. They're gonna toss out shuriken at you. Oops. All right, now we're gonna change to Billy. Ranzu, who in the world are you? State your name or I shall cut you down. Oh. All right. He can be intimidating at first. He also has shuriken. But the AI doesn't use uh, Ranzu uh, really well. Oops. So you just have to meet them in the air. Oops. Oh, and stay far away from the wall. Because um, he's got that uh, really good uh, wall bounce attack. Oof. There, just make sure that you... There you go. Did you hear that? He did the wall bounce attack. Oops. Stay far away from the wall. I actually like all three characters. Um, I wouldn't call Jimmy a character because he's just a palette swap of uh, Billy. So we'll just say this uh, game has three characters. Oh! How did he do that? Oof. There you go. I shall hand you the stone. Would you take me with you? I beseech you. All right, and then we have uh, this little fellow. You have two of the Rosetta Stones. I heard there is a clue in Rome. When in Rome. All right, let's move forward, but we're going to change to Yagyu Ranzu. So he has um, a ninja blade by default, a, sh a short sword. I don't know what you call that. Um... But that means he can't pick weapons up. And look at the... Um, he's the fastest, but he has the uh, weakest health. And I'd say his attacks also deal... Uh, oops, less damage. Oops. Oh, man. His sword attack, uh, if you saw that, isn't very good. Uh, you're better off using this. There, he can't pick weapons up. He jumps real high. And... His uh, jumping attack like just lasts the entire time that you pull it out. So you can, you can immediately like do that there. And you're just gonna have really good uh, priority in the air. There you go. And it's really just rinse and repeat. So beating Double Dragon 3 is really just um, discipline, right? Uh, sticking to what works and sticking to... Be oh, why is he... Just lying down on the ground. Wow, like he took a really long time um, to get back on his feet. Oops. All right. Uh, I want to preserve Ranzu, so we're gonna do Chin. You may have noticed that they have uh, weapons there. Um, they're not unlimited, so I'd rather save them for later. Despite, look at how slow Chin runs. 
Right, okay, let's go here. There. Oops. Chin can use weapons. Oh no. He's so freaking slow. He's got this double kick. That's, that's good too. But when you're playing as Chin, you want to isolate an enemy and get them in that claw combo. Look at how much damage um, I did. I mean, enemies just don't last long once uh, uh, Jin is able to get his hands on, on them. Look at that. Ooh. Man, I'm losing. All right. All right. So we're going to change character. Um, this guy's a, a little tough if you don't know what to do. So we're going to go back to, you know what, let's do Billy first. Just so he has some screen time. Oh yeah, that's a disadvantage of that head grab. Uh, it doesn't work on bosses. Oops. This guy, this guy can duck. Oops. Normally, I use Ranzu to beat this guy, but it looks like. Uh, Billy's gonna be enough. Oh, there. See, it doesn't work on bosses. So, uh, I used the Japanese fan translation. I mean, the fan translated Japanese version because um, I heard that they changed the story uh, in the English release, right? They, they had to tie it back to Marion. Which is going to be a little bit cheesy later. Uh, you'll see why. Alright. He had the pyramid map. As for the last stone, I've always had it. <laughs> I shall come with you for only I can open the pyramid door. See, I guess it's obvious that that, that little old... Ladies, a little bit um, shady, right? All right, so now we're in Egypt, and we're gonna switch immediately to Ranzu. There you go, because there are jumping areas, and he's got the best jump out of the three, right? Platforming. Okay, once we're down here, we can actually shift back to Chin. And Chin can deal with these guys. By the way, for the final boss fight, Chin's like the worst option. Oh man! I need to be conserving my health. I forgot. We need to play perfectly from here on out and avoid as much damage as we can. I just said that, but look at what I'm doing. Oh no.
Because unlike um, the previous stages, right? This is actually uh, pretty long. There's a lot of enemies. Oh man. I'm not doing pretty good. Alright. Well, as long as it's Chin is taking the damage. Some pressure. Alright. Oof. Can't believe it. Oh no. All right, that uh, chin got pretty beat up there. All right, and now we're gonna be entering the pyramid. We're gonna switch to Ranzu. And you'll see uh, in a bit why. Oh no, that should not have happened. I'm in deep trouble. I don't think I'm gonna beat this uh, game this episode. So we're just really gonna try our best to get to. Oh man. Um. Yeah, it's safe to be Ranzu. We're just gonna try to get to the final boss. Oh man, and we needed Ranzu. Oh. All right, so there you go. And as soon as we jump, we're gonna switch characters. Chin Seme. The enemies here are a little stronger now. Oof. Yeah, let's not mess around. Man. Oh man. Um, I'm gonna do Billy. Well, he's just a uh, um, well-rounded. He's got that safe uh, spin kick. That hits in front of you and behind you. Oops. All right. So far, Billy's uh, full health. I messed up. Alright, I think we're gonna get to the next uh, part. The fourth stone is in there. If we fail, all this has been for nothing. Alright, so look at that. It's been like half an hour. And we're very close to the end of this game. So, uh, really short game. Really hard. So. Uh, to keep people from uh, beating it easily, I guess. They made the game uh, hard and even harder uh, in the US version. Alright. Now we'll face a lot of ninjas. I'm not sure why. Because I thought ninjas were our friends now. If you recall the... Uh, our uh, allegiance with Ranzu. Oops. Oh, 
man. Look at that, do you see that? That shuriken? Oh, huh. Survived. Alright, we're almost to the final boss. Morons fighting na naively for me like that. The journey was easy thanks to your help. Now all the treasures of Cleopatra will be mine. So yeah, uh, playing as a kid, this was all in Japanese. So I was like, what the hell's happening? Right, alright, so now let's see. Now uh, we're almost at the final boss. This isn't it. This is like a... The, the guardians of the final boss and believe me first time that I got to this point I was like oh man I'm so close the final boss is so cheesy um, Cleopatra is the final boss And so I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat her because I took quite the, the beating. Oh. There's really just sticking to what works, right? What I said earlier. And that is not what works i don't know how he managed to grab me uh, in the middle of m me pressing uh turbo a and b but he's about to go down these mummies uh oh look at that look at how uh, the color is different You know what, I, I don't need to move up and down. Not for him. Alright, now I'm gonna change the chin. Oops. Oh no. Darn it. Now he's... Uh, He's almost there. I can feel it. Just maybe... Oh, there you go. That's Cleopatra. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. I hope we can grab get her in the iron claw. Uh, Chin's almost dead, by the way. Ah, uh, there you go. Chin's dead. Now we're going Ranzu. Um, Shuriken's not gonna do. Oof. This is why I said uh, I feel I messed up. Oh no. Alright. 
You don't want her teleporting like that because, well... It takes so much damage when she pops back up. Oh no. Oh no. It looked like I had control and uh, now it looks like I'm gonna die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, did that caught me? That's right beside her. Ah, look at that. Well, that was a good attempt. Um, if I had a little bit more health. Oh, continue. Where is this gonna... Is it from, from the beginning? What? Uh, let's see where uh, we can take this. Alright, so I did continue. It sent me back to the start of Egypt. But I didn't want you guys to see all that. So, uh, I skipped right ahead. And... Oh. Uh, at least Chin and... Ooh. We've got more health now. Alright, so let's try again, but this time we have more health. And I caught uh, Cleopatra in a uh, Iron Claw combo, which is good. Oops. There you go. That that deals. That must have been a lot of damage to Cleopatra. Oops. Oh man, she's chin so slow. That's her deadliest move. All right, but we caught uh, Cleopatra with the Iron Claw. Oof. So I'm pretty sure we've got a better chance now. Ooh. I hate that move at first. Yep, time to change. Oh no no no. Oh, man, I was hoping for a perfect run, but it's okay. Um didn't get to change right away. Yeah, when you have a Turbo A, you just, you know, hold it. I think because uh, Chin got killed, she, he won't be in the ending. Oops. So much damage. Look at how much damage she's like uh, uh, caused me, right? Just like that, uh, Ranz is almost dead. So we do nunchucks. Oops. Oh, there he go. Woo. 
Let's see the ending. Alright, so it's a pretty simple ending. The treasure was used to help children worldwide. Billy still teaches the Setsuken. And Chin's not gonna be here because he died. Yeah, there. Ranzu went to fight the Koga Ninja. So I guess the Koga Ninja were the ones who were attacking us. Three stones together can change the world. There you go. And I always like these uh, ending themes. Makes you makes makes you feel good for beating a game, right? Uh, back in the day, even though the endings are uh, quite short. Uh, just being able to listen to that happy theme uh, makes you feel like you actually accomplished something, right? Um, so thank you. I hope you enjoyed um, revisiting uh, a game that I played a lot of back in the day. Um, glad I was able to beat it. It took me uh, an extra attempt, right? But... Um, well, uh, I did have fun, and yeah, like I said, it's very short. Japanese version, a lot easier than the, uh, than the U.S. version. So, thank you again. Once again, it's Al from TheGamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.